Gathering storm. Woo! Attention, Somerset. I am, I am also vaguely Russian. I am also vaguely not German. He's got an ugly tattoo. I do Kale, kind of, Kale what? <laughs> I do kind of like the conventionally animated portions of this. For their time period, they weren't poorly animated. Of course, modern technology blows it out of the water, but, you know, this is mid-90s. What do you expect? Run like hell! Hey, first Max, Two wolfhounds and a centurion! So, where's that braided china seal? The what? Made in China seal. L. On the max. What? That's not as clever as you want to think it is. Yay, centurions! And thus the first annoying sound effect in the entire uh, anime series, the sound of the mech actuators doing their thing. Steady, people. We still don't know what we're up against. That is a lot of dots. I'm kind of thinking we should do a canon counter. Anytime something happens that is against canon or established tropes, a fairy will ring up its bell. Nice tattoos. Ding! Yeah, wouldn't the Thor actually be annihilated by that barrage? Pile these guild check! Just a few PSRs. Wonder Friend powers activate! <laughs> oh, how long have you been planning that? Been a while. Now this was the big draw for, uh, for the uh, series in the 90s, was, hey, CG animation, high-tech stuff. So I... <clears throat> You know, granted, the Mode 7 graphics on the ground suck, but what about the actual animation of mechs themselves? What do you guys think? It's okay. Uh, I wouldn't call it good by any stretch of the imagination. I'd call the paint jobs worse. <laughs> One of those things you wish you could modernize right now, huh? It was funny, I was watching a, uh, a video by Movie Bob uh, today about uh, how people try to cover up the fact that they like watching old things from the 90s under the guise of irony. I mean, his whole point being, just admit, uh, yes, it's terrible, and yes, you like it. It's kind of my relationship with the cartoon. Okay. Fall down, go boom! Seriously, shouldn't that mech arm have at least been seen to go plop rather than being vaporized? So I guess that's their version of the whole head ejection system? I guess so. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, this opening, that should be like how a Battletech movie opens. It's still so perfect it for is. the most part. Plus, I really wish I could get a copy of this music without the voiceover and the sound effects and crap. It is nostalgic. Oh, well, it's, it's holy 1990s. Yeah, that's a given. I remember for the longest time, I thought that the uh, image of the Star League was that uh, fist with the starburst behind it. And kasploosh! <laughs> there were times on Saturday mornings, sleepovers with Alex Fox, where we just watch this, the, the, the intro, and then play the game. Oh! <laughs> Wind in space, cause reasons! This is actually a really good good sequence of mech fights as well. 
I so far a BattleTech fan would not have much reason to lose hope. My only chance is to take out the leader. Negative, Kylie. Pull back to 120 meters and engage with your auto cannon. I know mm. what I'm doing, Lieutenant Spectre. Kylie, wait. The X Men. Ooh, in the face. More. Oh, more like in the arms. Can I ask you a question? Apparently, hot loaded long range missiles. <laughs> yep. How can I pass you if you don't stay alive, Kylie? Teamwork means looking out for the people under you. And accepting like you failed. How reminiscent of Kirk in the new movie. Lamest motto ever. The difference is between you and me is that I appeared in a novel for all of one scene. And you didn't. Well, Adam Steiner eventually made an appearance in novels. Mm, true. I'm sorry, you're too pretty for what you're doing. Battletech with guest star Ryu from Street Fighter. Picture the merchandise crossovers. Isn't there a bat called the Ryu? I repeat what you say because I can't believe it. Beyond. Instant grip pattern here. <laughs> it's aliens. Because they conveniently had a Photoshop of him, of Andrew Steiner. Seriously, the scar, the scar. I keep staring at that and thinking different smarts. <laughs> oh, horrible. Is that supposed to be Hans Davian? I mean, he's in a Federated Sons uniform. I guess so. But she refers to to Victor as your son. Adam Steiner, Highness, by your request. I requested no such thing. Catherine Steiner? A distant cousin. Melissa. Oh, okay. Duh. I hereby volunteer to lead a unit to liberate my home world, Somerset. Request denied. Somerset is only one of many planets by these mysterious invaders. The Draconis Combine may seize this <coughs> opportunity and likewise attack. This isn't just about Somerset, Archon. It concerns the entire Commonwealth. I'm listening. So, Victor? What? Victor? No, no, that's... What? No, Victor shows up for, like, one episode. Until we know something about them, what hope do we have of defeating them? Your proposal has merit, but I'm afraid I haven't a ship to spare. I'm sorry, Major. All hands prepare for hyperspace... I'm from Rosselhagen, yet I use Yah. Yah. Yeah, Harold Burst. <laughs> Our rest much easier once we've returned to the Draconis Combine. Not to worry, Captain Son. My company will reward you well for this assignment. You are frankly soft. But how will I spend it on a bit? No, that's not that guy who does Hawkins' voice sounds like a young version of Yang Chansey. I don't know. Tell them our docking call is not present. Ignore a distress signal? I must establish that I am native Japanese. Proceed with the docking They report no injuries, but let us be prepared for anything. Metal boots? <laughs> yeah, they don't really explain it, they just say yeah, it's definitely. And they go from 0G one minute to non-0G the next. Circle of 
pickles, go! <laughs> Strawberries! Smells like fudge. <clears throat> and back to zero G. Well, what do you know? Party favors. Smuggling Fedcom noisemakers into the Draconis Combine. <laughs> Not too neighborly now, is it, Baka Boy? That is a man-tastic beard. Isn't it? Enjoy your stay in the Federated Commonwealth. We should have been on Somerset. We could have made a difference. We'd have only shared their fate. I gotta measure that out. See how far th uh, Tharkad and Somerset are. Tharkad. Pity your cousin couldn't get you a command. Got any other relatives? Greetings, Cousin Adam. Cousin Adam? It has come to my attention that a smuggling ship from the Daconis Combine has been confiscated and is presently headed towards Falcon. Thank you for the information, Archon, but what's that got to do with me? You know, Adam, under the current state of emergency, a confiscated vessel may be commandeered by a field grade officer. Like a major, for instance. I see. Thank you, Archon. I'm certain you will be honored to the family. Is that a spaceport or is that a number of outdoor theaters for Shakespeare in the Park? Both. <laughs> With an all Elcor cast. <laughs> we need to get to Orbital Station Prometheus, military priority. Kylie? Thanks to a certain instructor who denied <laughs> me a passing grade, I'm now a fairy jock. Muchas gracias, Major. Aww. Jump to the Hamilton system. We can shave a couple of weeks off the trip. We'll hit Somerset, ready to fight. Somerset? You guys are going to Somerset? Kylie, if you don't mind, we're don't even dream. That is a fast rotation on that moon. Very. And so, I'm offering you all an opportunity. You can continue your duties aboard the drop ship Quaidon and your ship Katana, but under my command. It's a dangerous mission. But these invaders are a threat to us all. That always made me wonder about something when it comes to science fiction tropes. I, I like to call it the uh, hot knife through butter syndrome. What? Get him! Get him! Okay, who pulled the knife? <laughs> uh, aren't you guys on the space station still? Right in the zero G. This foolishness ends now, Franklin Sock. Wanna pull a knife? You feeling lucky, punk? Not a warrior. As as I was saying though, there's a uh, there's a sci-fi trap I like to call the uh, hot knife and butter syndrome. Why is it that way they always have to say we'd rather eat vegan slug rats or it'll slice through that armor like a like a plasma caster through or like free floating neutrons through steel or like is there anything vaguely resembling eating dung or knives and butter you know, in space isn't there hmm one would think <laughs> then we're ramming a novel a single novel through in 30 minutes Seven missions, four field commendations. Sakamoto's expression of not being impressed matches mine at that record. Major, I'm authorized. Twenty-seven missions and only four commendations for a sky unit. Come on. Wait, that's Franklin Sakamoto. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> Whose granddaughter becomes coordinator. And that Bing. look says it all. Oh my, this can't be real. I kind of feel this day and age that, like, the equipment introduction scene could have taken well over half of this episode and been awesome. It just, Indeed. As an adult, it just feels rushed. <laughs> and I no don't look at the back of that picture. Why? Yeah, because it would give away the plot. You were saying? These are experimental arrow fighters called banshees. Hmm. 
Now all we need is someone who can fly him. Beware the illegal design quirk. <laughs> and now that we've got our obligatory equipment and cast g gathering. You want the Drax to let their guard down so we can attack the Combine, right? It's brilliant. With the inner sphere reunited under the Federated Commonwealth, no outside force would dare oppose us. Let's get one thing straight, Lieutenant. Yes, because one dropship crew will allow you to infiltrate the entire DCMS, Zero. Someone else's command. This sounds unlikely. You want to start a war? Go that way. <clears throat> and now we know how dropships dock. If you can contact him by a hand radio, why don't they just attack now? Oh, I think I left my stomach behind. <laughs> you have a week till our engines are recharged, and we get to do it all over again. <laughs> They're shooting at a jump ship? If you have a week, why do you even need to say, mention the next jump? And that's totally not Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins' background music. <laughs> Who is it? Between a choice of exploding and not exploding, I pick not exploding. Don't know about you. Those mercs won't be expecting our kind of firepower. We still got the element of surprise. And this is probably the worst idea in the entire series. What is this Gundam now? All I know is that that wolfhound at that acceleration is gone. It's not recoverable. I, at least in real world physics. We ain't got no time for that real world physics shit. <laughs> it's this er It's this scene right here where I think a lot of the uh, what adult fans of BattleTech there were started losing hope. Mm, most likely. Because explosions in space leave a shit ton of IR energy. Who's flying that banshee? Yeah! How you doing, team? Kylie, what are you doing here? Saving your butt? What's it look like? I don't take kindly to stowaways. Can we argue about it later? One <laughs> well, thing she's good for so far. Flying like a regular Captain Starbuck. Kaboom. I do like Hawkins as a character. Think maybe a seasoned vet can learn Again, with the vegan slug rats. Please, no autographs. Seems, uh, so is that like the nerf herder from Star Wars? I guess. <laughs> and how many times have I used that up for you to sign a credit card slip? How many times have I done that anyway? Exactly. We're dropping you with FedCom security on the next jump. Unless you'd rather get off here. Major Steiner, we've just received a message for you from Tharkat. Put it through. Greetings, Major Steiner. 
I regret to report that the Draconis Combine has suffered as badly from the same invaders that defeated Somerset. The Draconis High Command has approved your unit to operate as a coalition strike force against this mutual threat. Is that supposed to be Takashi Karina or Theodore? Probably Theodore. Yeah, because if it was Takashi, it would say, I expect you. But now. We're a motley band, to say the least. You think I can pull them together? <laughs> we will. For Somerset. And for my brother Andrew. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Meanwhile, here we go. Fedcom flag down, and our first glimpse of elementals. And when I was a kid, I was like, what the hell are those? We now own you. And that's a star of Mad Cats. <laughs> Somebody's day is about to be ruined. In five, four... <laughs> Three, Three, two, two bang! Until the glorious day that the entire inner sphere is again. With our powers combined, we make Captain Planet! <laughs> the clans. 